Hey guys, so today's video, I'm gonna be doing this beautiful bronze makeup look. So we're gonna start with the brows. I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. This is in the shade Ash Brown. I'm just doing my normal kind of routine. I've kind of switched my eyebrow routine up the past few months, and this is kind of what I've been doing. Just more of a sharper brow than I'm used to. I kind of went through a phase of doing like a fluffy brow. Now I'm going back to the Instagram brow, but a little bit more natural. And of course, I'm gonna clean it up, and I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer to do this. I think this is a huge step when you're doing your eyebrows. It just makes the biggest difference and just makes your brows super nice and crisp and clean and look beautiful. And here I'm just going in with some clear brow gel. This is actually a mascara. It's by Maybelline, but it's great for setting your brows. So I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and then just setting it with some face powder. And I'm going in with Kylie Cosmetics, the bronze palette. You guys know I love this palette. I use it all the time. And I'm just kind of building up each color with the dark browns leading up to the black and just making sure I get a seamless blend. Then I'm gonna go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer to cut the crease. And I know a lot of people have trouble with this, but I'm just doing the center because I find that it's the easiest and it looks the best for this kind of look. It's just really simple, guys. You literally just use a really great shaped brush and put some concealer on and just carve out that crease. If you guys want a more in-depth video, I can do one. Just leave a comment down below and I can get to that. And then of course, just blending out the edges to make it a little bit more seamless. And then we're of course gonna go right over that with a pigment. And the pigment that I'm deciding to use for this video is the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in shade Conceited. I love these powders, guys. They're beautiful and they're just like on another level of pigment. You can see like the shine is unreal and I just love it. And I'm gonna also go in with a little bit of the black from the eyeshadow palette. Then I'm taking a lighter brown shade in the palette. I'm applying that to my bottom lash line just to smoke it out a little bit. And I'm also gonna do that on the other eye. And then I'm gonna take the darkest brown and I'm gonna just literally right in the corner connect the bottom lash line to my wing that I've done and just build up that color again and really smoke out that lash line. Then going in with some liquid liner. This is by NYX, this is my favorite liner. This is the matte black liner. And it's really great because it doesn't leave like a shiny vinyl finish. It's really matte and really black and super easy to use. So if you're a beginner and you're trying to master your liner, I could really recommend this. I think it would be great for you and it's got a really fine tip so it's easy to use. Then gonna give my eyelashes a really nice curl, of course, before we put our lashes on. And then using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. This is also my favorite. And then putting a little bit of black liner. I don't wanna do too much, just a bit on the waterline. And then I'm applying these lashes. I love lashes, guys. Like, they're my favorite thing in the world. And they just complete a look, like, high, bushy, and beautiful. And I've been going towards these short and fluffy lashes lately because I have a smaller eye. And then we're gonna go right onto the face. I'm using the Farsali 24 karat gold elixir. Oh my God, this thing smells like oranges. It's so good. It leaves the skin so soft and smooth. I'm obsessed with it. I use it every single day, even like before bed and stuff and on my lips, it's bomb. And this is something I've been doing lately. I've been using my soft ochre paint pot underneath my eyes because it prevents creasing and it also blocks out a little bit of the darkness I have under my eyes and gives a little bit of a brighter effect as you can see. So it's a little hack that I've been doing lately that I wanted to share with you guys. And then I'm just gonna blend that out with a beauty blender. And going over it with my Iconic London Pigment Stick in Icon 3. This is literally my exact shade and I'm like tripping about it because it's so good. And this leaves a very natural finish onto the skin but it's also buildable. I would not recommend this for people with oily skin. It's a little bit slippery but I have very dry skin so it works for me. But I still have to set it with a powder. So yeah, you can definitely see it just evens out the skin tone. I love it. It's honestly just been my favorite. I've been using it for the past two or three months now. It's so bomb. So after we've blended out all of our foundation, we're going in with the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer in Medium. I love this stuff. Like you'll see, just you could just literally watch like goodbye under eyes. 
goodbye under eye circles goodbye darkness like it's just gone and i barely put anything on it's like a couple little dots and it just lasts forever like you can see the way it's blending out it just like you can stretch it so far it's so good um, I've been using this for about a year like on and off, but it's definitely one of my favorite products But I try to try new stuff all the time. I'm obsessed with it though I definitely thought you guys needed to know about it So I'm just blending that out with a beauty blender and again just a really like thin but very full coverage But doesn't feel thick like goals as fuck So to contour lately, I've been using the NYX Cosmetics HD Concealer in the shade Nutmeg. And I've just been giving this a go. I wanted more like a bronzy contour, even though it's like totally not what I'm supposed to be doing. But I think it looks really nice and it definitely goes with the bronzy effect of this makeup look. So I'm just using a beauty blender and just tapping that in. And the beauty blender leaves such an amazing finish and doesn't look cakey or heavy in any way. So yeah, I've really, really been loving this. And super inexpensive too. I think this is only like... 10 bucks this concealer so I have one for under eyes and then I have one for contouring but really really amazing and then going back into my Graftobian palette I'm just gonna set underneath my eyes and set my face and as you can see this definitely neutralizes the color of that concealer because it was a bit bright but right away you can see it blends like perfectly then using a darker shade in that palette I'm gonna use it to set my contour and I love these powders because they're like foundation powders as you can see it got stuck in one area and then just with a little bit of effort of blending it out it became seamless like right away whereas other palettes and other kind of powders might just stick in one area then using my favorite glow powder ever this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills this is their that glow palette it's my favorite thing ever then going in with this Sigma blush in Cor de Rosa obsessed like the most perfect blush ever so I've been doing this lately on my Instagram, doing little mini lip tutorials, even though I'm not that good at it, but I'm trying. <laughs> so I just went with my lip scrub to get my lip prepared and then use that Farsali uh, elixir on my lips. And now I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics uh, gloss in shade Literally. I love this shade. It's just the perfect nude peachy shade for me. And yeah, I just, I'm obsessed with it. It's bomb. And after we've done the lips, that's basically the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching this video. Definitely let me know your thoughts down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.